whether you're building a new house, doing an extension, or even a conversion, I'm gonna tell you what you need to know about fire doors into garages and what's required under building regs. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ben. I'm a registered building inspector and I'm a founder of ProjectWise, which is a company that supports you throughout your build, helping you eliminate that stress and avoiding those costly mistakes. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is a fire door? A fire door is specially designed to resist fire and prevent the spread of flame between different parts of the building. Now, when it comes to garages, they're classed as high risk areas because they have fuel, flammable materials and vehicles that are stored inside. That's why building regs requires a fire door where there's a direct connection between the garage and the house. According to UK building regs, if you've got a door leading from the garage into the house, it must be fire rated. Typically, this needs to be a fire door rated to a minimum of 30 minutes, otherwise known as an FD30. This means that the door can hold back smoke and flames for up to 30 minutes, giving people time to evacuate and firefighters time to respond. Now, it's not just about the door itself. The entire installation needs to meet regulations. This includes having the appropriate seals around the edge of the door, also known as intermittent strips. These seals expand when exposed to heat, filling the gap around the door, preventing smoke from passing through. Don't forget about the frame. It's essential to ensure the frame is fitted correctly and there are no large gaps. Even the best fire door won't work if it's not installed properly. Let's talk hardware. Fire doors require specific hinges and they must have the appropriate fire rating. All fire doors must have three hinges, one at the top, middle and bottom. It's a requirement for an FD30 that leads from a garage into a house to have an automatic self-closing device. This means the door will automatically shut behind you, keeping the garage isolated from the rest of the house should a fire break out. Let's recap. Here's a quick checklist for fire doors into garages. FD30 with a 30 minute fire resistance. Intermittent strips around the door edges. Fire resistant hinges and fittings. Self-closing mechanism to ensure it's always shut. Proper installation and correctly sized frame. Now you might be wondering if you can fit one of these doors yourself. Yes, it's possible if you're a competent DIYer, otherwise speak to a carpenter. If in doubt, consult a professional to make sure everything's compliant, which leads me on to ProjectWise. ProjectWise supports homeowners, self-builders and builders alike throughout your build with everything construction, making your life easier and less stressful and helping you catch those costly mistakes before they happen. We can answer your technical questions and we can tailor our services to meet your needs. If you've got an issue, we can help you find a solution. We're passionate about construction and helping you have the best build experience. Check out the ProjectWise website to learn more and contact us for a free consultation. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. You could even share the video with someone who might find it useful. Drop a comment below if you've got any questions about fire doors and we'll see you in the next one.